Okay, we have to talk about Google Analytics 4. There are some people out there on the different kind of platforms who are doing some posts where they claim that Google Analytics 4 is not a good product. They actually say it's really like a buggy, bad product and people don't want to migrate to it. They want to stay with Google Analytics Universal, which they love. Are they right? Yes. Yes, they are right. This is why we have to talk about it. So Google Analytics 4 is a bad product. Why is it a bad product? <laughs> How can I say that? Um, it's not a bad product in general. It's always, like, I mean, it's, it's, let's say, it has different kind of aspects that are really well designed uh, and, and really good. I mean, people often forget how hard it is to create good analytics products. Uh, it's, they have to be quick in response. So when you query data, uh, they have to be um, easy to understand, good UI, good UX, and so on. I mean, try out different kind of other analytics tools and then come back to Google and blame them. So I did. <laughs> so I can blame them. And I don't blame them for the, let's say, the, 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 the single parts of the whole product. I blame them for the strategy they have chosen. What does it mean? In the end, Google Analytics Universal was an entry product for people starting out with analytics. And I wouldn't say that it was super easy. So it still needed some investment and some time to get into it, where to check what the different kind of metrics are meaning, what you can do with it, how you can apply it in your daily work, and so on. But it was doable. Anyone with any kind of background could have started out with Universal, watched some videos. There are great video resources on, on YouTube. There are great books about it. There are great newsletters you can read. So I would say in two, three, four weeks, you can basically build a really good first knowledge of analytics, how to work with it. So this was great about Google Analytics Universal. It still is. I mean, it's still around until next year. So with Google Analytics 4, Google was trying something that usually cannot really work. First of all, they wanted to mo modernize, <laughs> modernize the tool, which is a great idea. I mean, Google in Universal was still working with sampling data because they wanted to have a quick interface. So it made sense at that time because on old architecture, it was not so easy to make it really snappy and to really get the data. So you put in a query, immediately get the results. Hard job. And so they introduced sampling. Sampling is not there anymore. So th they basically wanted to create a new modern stack that can handle the volumes of data that we collect in a good way. So good intention. But in the end, the problem that Google did with Google Analytics 4 is like they wanted to make it for two different audiences. So the first audience was they wanted to enable the professionals to do more with Google Analytics because most of the professionals were already maybe moving on to other tools or always looking around the corner to see, ah, maybe a good idea to do something else. So Google wanted to achieve that they have more possibilities and they introduced this stuff. So they introduced an event schema that totally makes sense for people professionally working with data. For other people, it's super complicated. But for us, it's great. But yeah, we get already get it other tools as well. So um, it's something like where we say, yeah, finally. But it's not like, oh, wow, finally we get this. So we had it before. We just now get it with Google as well. And the other thing for pros as well is like, we get all the data into BigQuery. Awesome. We always wanted this. I mean, before you just got it uh, when you had a 360 subscription. Now you get it every time. So we can now build all this crazy, funky ideas that we always had in our head that, that was hard to do because we didn't got the raw data into BigQuery. So the pros can be happy. But we come back to this in a second because we're uh, not totally happy. But on the other hand, they wanted to keep the simplicity for all the people who don't do analytics every day, maybe just three times a month and so on. 
but it should still be flexible enough that the ones in the middle do a little bit more. And now, this is what the interface now really shows. On the one hand, it tries to do a little bit simple, but it still it has too much complexity. So you can really see that in the end, what they were trying to design was a product that compromises for a too large group of people. So this is the big issue here. If you create a product, you have to think about what is my target audience. And of course, there are products who have a broad target audience. Google Word, uh, Google Sheet, Microsoft Word, sorry for that. Um, so they serve multiple purposes. And I can tell, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they invested plenty of time how to handle this, how to make Microsoft Word accessible for someone who just wants to write I don't know, a letter, and for someone who wants to build crazy, automated, I don't know what, maybe a book or so. Both is possible. Uh, but it's super hard to bring this in one interface. And I think this is where Google failed. Google failed significantly to focus, especially in their user interface, on one audience. And I wouldn't say that it's easy, honestly. So if I would be in the product team, I would have a headache how to do this. So you, ju you just, I would say you just come around. Either you really say, okay, who is our audience? And I would, honestly, I would be not surprised when Google would have said, our audience are people who don't live every day in an analytics system. Because for us, it's basically an extension to run marketing campaigns because Google is one of the best tools out there to do marketing analytics out of the box. If they would have said, okay, this is our target, we go for this, we build the best marketing analytics tool out there, and which, by the way, helps us a lot because we run one of the biggest uh, advertisement platforms on this planet. Um, so this would all make sense for me. It would also make sense for me if they would have said, okay, we have two tiers of this product. One is visible to, like, say, the marketeer, so the, the marketing analytics part, and the other one is for all the pros who wants to build things around it. So for them, the raw export is super important, but we will really focus on that this thing works reliable, uh, it works really great. It's basically best in class and not, I don't know, fifth in class, which it is right now. Because let's, let's be honest, I mean, I can use Google Analytics 4 as a free data streaming or data collection pipeline. I could use it like this, but I don't do it. Why don't I do it? Because I don't trust it. With, with every kind of thing that I heard that I tested and... It would make sense, especially for small projects, to just say, yeah, honestly, I can have a free pipeline piping my data there, but I don't trust it. I'm not sure if I should really do it. I go for other tools where I know their main job is like they create these kind of collection pipelines. Um, and so they failed on both ends. They failed the people who want to do really good marketing, performance, analysis, and so on, and they failed the pros who want to get good data into their systems to build the use cases, maybe even like the applications, um, to maybe help the marketing team with additional things. So, <laughs> I don't know. They, they failed basically both and tried something in the middle. And this is why I think Google Analytics 4 is, yeah... It's a bad product, unfortunately. It's, it's really unfortunately. I was really hoping, I don't know, I had so many hopes. I mean, at least they did the event schema that I was always thinking of. But I mean, honestly, I have this already for 10 years in other tools. So it's not like that, hey, Christmas. So I'm sorry. So maybe maybe they turn around it. Maybe maybe they take this approach to, to basically focus on something. But this not focusing on something and just putting it out, it doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry.